Creighton University major power outages blacked out part of campus. Our Aaron Murray has been tracking the story all day. Any progress on getting the power back on, Aaron? No, not really, John and Mallory. As you can see, there's a lot of steam behind me, but just a few emergency lights on on these dorms on the east side, or excuse me, on the west side of the campus. Things still pretty black up there. Now, all of this started at 10 o'clock this morning, and the, re the reason and the thing behind it all was a failure in some of the circuit lines. At the same time, something else kind of happened, something that put this steam right here behind me, and as you can see, there's this large steam leak here that happened right about the same time. The university is looking in to see if that is connected at all to the circuit failures. Now, as for the students, two freshman dorms were affected and a few hundred kids will have to stay inside the DJ Sokol Arena where all of the cots are. The university asked local students to stay with family, but those unable to make arrangements are staying inside here. Now, staff said you never see these things coming, but you always need to be prepared. Really changed quickly. Uh, so, about 12:30ish, uh, we uh, started the process. We got word that this was going to be a possibility, so we went ahead and, and kind of started executing the plan that we had. Uh, really, only took about 45 minutes. Uh, we had a great staff uh, came together and really sent out a quick email, and uh, they came in like the masses. Now, most of the buildings without power are west of 24th Street and then just also east of Highway 75. Now, the university does hope to have the power issues fixed by morning, and it is midterm, so I know a lot of students were very happy to have the unexpected, you know, classes kind of closed down for the day, but it is midterms, and fingers crossed, the university says that they'll have classes regularly scheduled tomorrow. And will the roads still be blocked off out there, Aaron? Yes, actually they are. So just up the road from me here, you can see the street closures, only workers and things coming down. That's 24th and it goes, stretches all the way along campus here, about two more blocks, stopping basically just before Highway 75. That's all closed off while they get this figured out. All that steam looks like Yellowstone out there tonight. Thanks to Aaron.